Welcome to the Entertainment Report. Now, it was a Valentine's Day to remember for some of our favorite celebrities. Uh, I had a few memorable moments of my own, but I don't think you want to hear about my wild sex life. Uh, Kanye West, though, guys, did you see this? He won Valentine's Day, hands down. He staged this elaborate surprise for Kim Kardashian. She woke up to find smooth jazz badass Kenneth Gorlick. You may know him as Kenny G in their living room surrounded by all these roses, serenading her with this beautiful song. Now, everyone say it with me. Ah. Uh, now those Kardashian women must be aviation history buffs because they always seem to pick the right brothers. Uh, now, Katy Perry had a Valentine's Day surprise of her own when boyfriend Orlando Bloom popped the question with this insane ring estimated at $5 million. Now that is 5 million reasons for Katy to say yes. Uh, you know, if we're counting each dollar as an individual reason, uh, that it would add up to 5 million. Uh, but I tell you what, I am just so excited for Katy. You know, she really deserves her happy ending. Uh, and Beyonce, she posted her Valentine's pics a day late, okay? Uh, this is Queen Bay, right? She can do whatever the hell she wants. Bring it on, Queen Bay. Post those damn pics whenever you feel like it. I am here for it. She modeled this sexy red number with the caption, I hope y'all had a Valentine's Day full of love. Why, thank you, Beyonce. I did, as a matter of fact, have a Valentine's Day full of love. Uh, but I don't think you want to hear about my wild sex life, right? Uh... Now, in serious news, guys, British-born rapper 21 Savage finally spoke out on his arrest by ICE. Just two days after his release, he went on Good Morning America to tell his story. I was just driving and I just seen guns and blue lights. And then I was in the back of a car and I was gone. They tell you you're under arrest? Or no, they didn't, they didn't say nothing. They just said, we got Savage. They said, we got Savage. Yeah. <laughs> that is so funny. That is exactly what me and my buddy say every time we devour a plate of buffalo wings. Uh, <laughs> we got Savage. Uh, now, guys, here is a very, very sad story. I don't know if you've been following this one, but there are reports that Empire star Jussie Smollett may have staged the hate crime perpetrated against him. Do you remember that hate crime? We were all horrified, right? This is potentially devastating news. Um, there is plenty of hate out there in the world, guys, without having to manufacture it. And I will be deeply, deeply disappointed in Jussie if this turns out to be true. Um, but hey, on the bright side, we got to meet these hunky Nigerian co-conspirators, right? <laughs> uh, and now for a taste of delicious white chocolate, Sean Mendez. He released photos teasing his upcoming Calvin Klein underwear campaign. Now, Calvin Klein stock is not the only thing that's gonna be rising, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Oh, listen up, guys. I am not gay. I just want to clarify that right now. I just really appreciate fit men. Unfortunately, guys, I do have a hormonal issue which keeps me from building those muscles for myself. So my only means of enjoying them is by admiring the physiques of other men uh, like Mr. Mendez here, which I gladly do every single day, trust me. <laughs> uh, that is all my time for today. I'm gonna to see you next time on The Entertainment Report.